This video will demonstrate the recommended process for setting up and installing your Dorner 2200 series belted end drive conveyor. Please refer to the service manual for more information on these steps. Upon receiving your Dorner conveyor, unpack all items and make sure all required parts are included. The required tools for installation include 4 and 5 mm hex wrenches and a torque wrench. The recommended installation sequence for 2200 series conveyors is assemble the conveyor if required, attach mounting brackets to the conveyor, attach the conveyor to the stands, install return rollers if needed, mount the gear motor mounting package, and attach guides and accessories. No assembly is required for conveyors up to 12 feet. For longer conveyors, refer to the manual for instructions. First, locate the mounting brackets. Insert T-bars into the conveyor's side slots. Fasten the bracket to the conveyor with mounting screws and repeat at all bracket locations. Then fasten the bracket to the support stand with mounting screws, washers, and nuts. Repeat at all bracket locations and tighten all screws to 60 inch-pounds. To begin installing the gear motor, loosen the cover screws and remove the cover. Locate the drive output shaft of the conveyor. Remove the two screws from the mounting plate. Place the mounting assembly and ensure the screw engages with the cutout on the mounting plate. Attach the mounting assembly with two screws. Remove the tape from the output shaft if needed and put the key into place. If needed, install the timing belt tensioner. Install the driven pulley onto the conveyor shaft. Wrap the timing belt around the driven pulley and drive pulley. Depending on the conveyor belt direction, place the timing belt tensioner as shown in the manual. Tension the timing belt and tighten the tensioner screw. Using a straight edge, ensure the drive pulley is aligned with the driven pulley. Tighten the driven pulley set screws to allow for proper belt alignment while the conveyor is in use. Install the cover with four screws and tighten to 35 inch pounds. To install guiding, place the guide and ensure there are no pinch points. Insert guide bracket assemblies into the T-slot and tighten the screws. A level should be used to ensure the conveyor is mounted straight, flat, and level.